All right, let's not waste any time. So here I am inside of Da Vinci. I've got my footage right here of me standing, wearing my flash t-shirt. Then I walked out of the frame and grabbed a clean blade. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the point in my footage when I just finished looking that way. That's when I want all my effects to start. So I'm gonna cut it right here with Control-B, drag that up, bring my clean plate under there, select all of them. I'm gonna right click and go to New Fusion Clip and jump into Fusion. All right, so that brought our clips into Fusion. So if I press two with the Media N2 selected, I can see what that one is. So that's me standing. So I'm gonna hit F2 and rename it me. And then the other one will be the background. So in order to make me run off really fast, we need to isolate me from the background. So what I'm gonna do for that, is I'm gonna copy my footage and paste it right here. So now I have a duplicate of that. Then I'm gonna bring down a polygon node and then very roughly begin to mask out myself. It doesn't have to be very precise since there's gonna be a lot of blur. And of course, if you have the studio version, you can use the magic mask. All right, so now I can drag that polygon into the mask and I'm cut out from the background. Again, this is a very rough mask for the tutorial. I'm just gonna soft edge it a little bit. So now if I drag out from this square and put it over this one, that'll make another merge node. So if I bring that to the viewer, so now it should look exactly the same as before, but if I hit shift space and search for a transform, now if I drag it around, I can move it anywhere I want. So to make me run off, I'm gonna find the frame where I want it to start, I'm thinking frame 20, put a keyframe on the center and the size, go about uh, three frames later. Then I'm just gonna drag me off to the side and I'm gonna make it bigger since I want it to look like I'm running at the camera. So now you can see I'm really quickly moving towards the camera. So in order to make this look good, I'm gonna go to the settings and check motion blur. Then I'm just gonna crank up the quality all the way. Now you might notice on the first frame of our animation, if we bring just the transform to the screen, you can see it's kind of blurring before I start moving. So to fix that, I'm gonna take the central bias and just bring that all the way down. Now I'm zooming off with motion blur, but there's the obvious problem of I'm still standing there. So under this first merge, I'm gonna to go to the frame before I start running, put a keyframe on the blend, move one frame forward, and turn it off. Now we have me zooming off camera, and this is actually a really basic super speed effect, but we want this to look like the flash in the movies with the cool energy building up. So you could make the lightning inside of Fusion following my electric text tutorial, which I'm actually thinking about updating for Resolve 18, so subscribe if you wanna see that. But it's way easier to just use a pre-made asset. So the ones I'm using for this tutorial are free. They come from productioncrate.com where you can download tons tons of free VFX assets. It's really cool. I'll link them down in the description. So I'm gonna bring down this first clip. So this one's called Static Far, and it's this lightning building up over the shape of a person, which works perfectly for what we want. So I'm just gonna merge this over our footage. I'm gonna change the apply mode to screen. Now I can move it over to me and adjust the angle and the size inside the merge. Now right off the bat, this looks really good. Now it kind of fluctuates what color the lightning's supposed to be, because in the Justice League it's blue, but in the new trailer it looks like it's gonna be orange, so you can make it whatever color you want. I'm gonna go with blue for this tutorial, so I'm gonna hit shift space, add a color corrector, and then just play with the hue until it's a nice blue. Now that's looking really cool, but after I run away, it stays in the same place. So we're gonna do the same thing as before, go to the frame before I run, set a keyframe on the blend, go one frame forward and turn it off. So now we have me charging up and running off. But I want there to be kind of a trail of lightning coming behind me as I run. So I'm gonna add another asset from Production Crate. This one's called 3D Lightning Accent 5. So I'm gonna merge it over my thing just like before, set the apply mode to screen. So it's starting way too soon. So with it selected, I'm gonna drag on this little gray line and just slide it along until it's starting at the right point. So now I have it timed right so it's falling behind me. Now I'm gonna add some sparks to kind of accentuate the power of the electricity. So I'm gonna drag down the spark asset. All of these I'll be linking down in the description. Merge it over, set the apply mode to screen. And just like the last one, I'm gonna drag this gray line until it starts at the right frame. And then finally, to add an extra layer of oomph to this effect, let's add some displacement. So between the background and the cutout me, I'm going to add a displace node. Then I'm gonna drag out from my lightning accent and plug it into the displace, and then just bring up the refraction strength. I'm just now realizing all of my DC themed tutorials have been lightning based. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then you'll definitely like my Shazam transformation video, which you can check out right here.